Hi, this is Jim with Backyard Builders, and I'm the inventor of HighPerformanceFuelCells.com. This is our rat rod model. Uh, this is super block. Um, as you can see, it's uh, 1,512 square inches. Um, this is a high performance fuel cell generator. Um, it's making a large amount of hydrogen right now. And our fuel is Winn-Dixie distilled white vinegar. Um, that's what the cells draw on, just a little bit under 12 volts. As you can see over here, 11.6. Um, here's our amps, 14.5. Let's just say 14.5, fluctuating. Um, and here's our production. Not too bad, huh? Okay. Now I'm going to show you how the fuel cell works. First of all, we got the hydrogen pump, and I'm going to turn off the hydrogen pump. The hydrogen pump is off. Now I'm going to turn off the fan. I'm going to turn off the other fan. And I'm going to turn off... No, wait, wait, hold on. Watch this. Okay, as you can see, we're drawing 10... 10 5, still dropping. 10 3, 10 2. What are we going to level out of? Okay, that's probably where we're going to level out there. Okay. We're drawing 9.8 amps. Um, still making great production without any pump or anything like that. Um, Okay, now we're going to look at our temperature. Okay, temperature is 106 degrees. The reservoir bottle is, hold on, let me get back here, is 114 degrees. We've been running the fuel cell now for four hours and seven minutes and like eight minutes now. Four hours, eight minutes. Okay, now I'm going to turn the fan back on and watch the amps go up. Okay, amps starting to go back up. So on the second fan. Okay, amps are going back up. Now I'm going to roll on the pump. There's our production without the pump. Here's our production with the pump. big difference as you can see up here how much of a difference it is and we're back to drawing 14 it's gonna settle in uh, 14.8 on our amps there's our exact volts there's our volt for our voltmeter this is our temperature I'm gonna show you the inside temperature that's the inside temperature, 91, so 91, that's 16 degrees in temperature difference, that ain't much at all. And there's our production, now let me kind of explain how it works. Here we are, this is the bottom of the reservoir bottle, and it goes into our hydrogen pump, and then from our hydrogen pump goes into the bottom of the fuel cell. Then it comes through the fuel cell and out the top of the fuel cell, comes around and into our reservoir bottle. From our reservoir bottle, it comes down and comes into our C-trap. C-trap acts as a spark arrestor, has a fuel sponge inside of it, and it, it stops any condensation. As you can see here at the outbound line, there's no <coughs> condensation built up in the line. But you can see the outbound line from the reservoir bottle you can see all the condensation in line okay then after that comes up comes around see the line and into our bottle and there's the production okay 
Once again, all right, I'm going to start turning some stuff off. Let's start off with just the fan. Okay, here you go. You see the amps. Cut the fan. Amps starting to drop. That's one. Cut the second fan. Amps starting to drop down. Okay, here goes the pump. Amps are dropping, dropping, dropping. Okay, still making plenty of production. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the fuel cell. Okay, no more production. Okay, I'm going to turn on the fuel cell. There's the production. Do it again. Fan. Pump. Okay. Now watch. Wait till production builds up. Bam. Ton of hydrogen. We turned on the fish aquarium, huh? Alright, well, anyway, time is uh eleven forty-three. Um, I'm done for tonight. So in closing, if you'd like to find out more. You can reach us at area code 813-789-0137 um, or you can find out more about what we do at www.highperformancefuelcells.com um, and well, almost 12 o'clock, I'm going to shut down and I'm going to bed. Good night and thank you all.